wonderful people viewers and subscribers so welcome back again let me just do a quick one it's an update following the crisis of what they call labor party crisis the abode of a man has come a full-blown war against peter Obi to bring him down with the way he is going about the whole thing look at his press conference and listen to the bala blue the man is shining out go recall that no governor yes sir no governor that we gave tickets yes sir can harass us out of office. Yes, sir. No governor, no matter how highly placed, will come and with a fiat dissolve the National Working Committee, dissolve state councils, dissolve local government councils, dissolve world executive, even military governments don't behave that way. Um, we have not yet of Alex Oti and Peter Obi. We have simply said that the doors of the party are open to others, which is democratic. If you look at section 221 and section 222 of the 1999 constitution, it makes it clear that every political party is open to all Nigerians. The Labour Party Constitution is equally clear that you cannot deprive people who may be interested in running for an elective office in the party. And so what we have done simply is to open the window to accommodate more people. You will agree with me that democracy is about numbers. The more, the merrier. The more people we have, the better for the party and for even the candidates themselves. Because if you emerge from a competitive process, it gives you more confidence and it shows that you are the best. And Labour Party have always maintained that why APC and PDP have failed is because they suppress competition and skew their primaries towards one individual. And we feel that since our party is different, we should not be seen in behaving in the same way. And that's why we have simply thrown the party open for all and Can you imagine? Now, let me ask this man. Without Peter Obi, what is Labour Party? You yourself, you call yourself a leader. If you are leading people and nobody is following, nah, man, your time is up. Just get out. And to the people like me, I am not a member of any political party, including that of Labour Party. But I am conscious about protecting public interest. And Peter Obi have remained the only light of hope among political class Nigerian people are looking up to for good governance. And if that is the case, I will do everything possible to protect that public interest. Because it is clear that Abure is pursuing not just his personal agenda but the agenda of apc and the only thing they could do apart from inciting public hate against ethnic nationalities for them to be bickering among themselves and fighting among themselves targeting evils and the rest of them another thing is for them to use inside war to disorganize labor party where p2b is because as far as nigerians are concerned APC and PDP are two sides of the same coin. It is no option for Nigerian people. So Peter will be thinking of going back to APDP or having an alliance with those crop of thieves that have made a mess of this country all these years will also spell doom for his personality and his political future. And that is the truth. I will continue saying that blunt truth on this platform. If you are saying I'm talking about uh, who embezzled more, how much did you, Abure, 3 point something billion naira unaccounted for during that campaign that came through the Labour Party account? Where is it? Has to come out plain to explain what has happened to the finances of the Labour Party. Allegations of embezzlement, misappropriation, misapplication of power, Oh, uh, and, uh, and a whole lot of things that I, I came out to say that time, including the forging of the late national chairman's signature to withdraw money from an account after his death. So, and I had come out, and I, I was thinking that Abu um should have come out to explain to Nigerians or even allow an external auditor to audit the accounts of the Labour Party. 
but he has refused to do to do to do the needful. Instead, he's trying to 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 to, to do a campaign against the man, Mr. Peter B, who gave him life. Because, because before now, there was no Abure. Before now, the Labour Party was nowhere. So it, I, I, I think it's, it's ingratitude on his part, on his side, to come out to want to, to, to want to damage the image of an icon, political icon that is known to the world, not just to Nigeria. Abure should should come out because I say he who must go to equity must come with clean hands. He should not divert attention. He should come out to collect allegations on his head. I think this, this story is not new to Nigeria because I, I came out shouting from pillar to post telling Nigerians that we have to lead by example. Because you can't be saying that the government of the day is not doing the right thing, whereas we have corruption eaten under us. Let's even start with Aburi. Let's even allow an independent auditor to audit the account first. Let's start with ourselves first before pointing an accusing finger. And again, we didn't have a campaign account for the Labour Party. So I, I don't know why he's coming out to say that we never had an, a, a, a campaign account. We did, we have. I saw you still mention the account number yesterday. So we're sure we did have an account. So you should stop peddling lies. To me, it's an attempt to cover whatever he has done. And that shouldn't be. Anyone that you see that is in a haste to accuse someone, just know that the person nash the smell. And that is the truth. This man is being sponsored. Today, he's now being the regular, regular bride of TVC, the Tinibu television. Well, let me not just bore you. It is up to you, the political party members, those of you who are members of Labour Party, for you to do the needful. If Aburi say he is good enough, let him come out and contest for another tenor. And let's see if he's going to win. If he wins, fine. Then that is the people's choice. But if he doesn't, why would he be making noise everywhere, trying to distract just a few people that are coming together to rescue Nigerians from the pit of hell we are falling into? Well, let me just keep it at that. It's just my own personal opinion. I just hope Nigerian people understand this and spread this message wide. You may say it doesn't concern you after all, you're not a party man, but man, it concerns every one of us. Because when you talk about bad governance in this country, it is about political leadership. And you can never be a political leader in Nigeria without belonging to a political party. So it should concern you the kind of people this political party is shown out as their candidate during election. Because when you have three bad options, men, you have three bad options that one of them must emerge and you continue being victim. But if you are interested and keeping the heat on them for them to know, if they make the wrong choice, it is over for them. So good people will have an opportunity and a shot to be political leaders in Nigeria. And that is a way of advice to anyone that believes he is a good person that wants to add value to the society. Don't shy away from taking up this responsibility. It's not going to be a child's player or just um, a walkover. It is going to be a very contagious fight. You must fight it out because freedom is not given. It is taken. I'm also Chenard Peters. Let me end it here. I hope you will continue sharing and let us continue building this community, BVI Channel 1, where we preach nothing but good governance. Bye-bye for now. Oh, <laughs> my